Hey guys, in this video, I am going to show you how to establish remote connectivity, that is a SSH connectivity to one of your newly installed switch in your network. Here is the setup I have right now. So in this setup, you see, this is the newly installed switch stack that I have right now. So in here, I have two switches stacked together and then they are connected to a radial switch here. Um, and if you see here, I have a ether channel going in between this radial and access switch. I have plugged into my computer uh, to this port. So I have a SSH connection to this radial switch. So what I have to do is I need to configure the network on this access switch so I can access this switch using SSH. So here's the setup I have right now. I open up two party session here. I have an SSH connection to my radial. So this is going to be my SSH connection. So let me load the connection. So you see it is an SSH connection that's for my radial and I have been presented with a cert. My username is CIS Cisco and my password is A-P-P-L-E-B Apple B. Enable password is also same. Apple B. Okay, so now I have SSH connection to my radial. If you look at here, show in, in status, I am connected to the port 10. I am using a management network uh, for the connectivity uh, because in your uh, network environment, you need to have a management network on all of your devices for the configuration purpose. So that's why I have been connected to. Also, I have established uh, ether channel between this access and radial already show ether channel summary and I have a lag P going uh, from this switch to those uh, access stack. So I'm using one port from one switch, the other port from other switch. That's the best practice. If you want to know how to build an ether channel, uh, I will have my other video linked into my description so you can watch that video. So let me log into my access switch right now. So I'm going to log into my access switch using the console connection. You see that load, that's a console serial connection. Open it up. And this is a brand new switch. Uh, there is no configuration on this switch except the port channel configuration. Show either channel summary you see here I have the ether channel already already running in between these switches. The main idea here is if you want to configure a, a new switch or adding a new switch to your network uh, environment, you don't have to sit behind the switch consoling in configuring the switch uh, inside those room. It's not possible because you will have hundreds of IDF connect. Uh, IDF location you cannot go into each location and configure the switch so what you have to do is you have to put a minimal configuration in the switch for the basic network connectivity uh, to your uh, central network and then enable SSH connectivity so you can come back to it so you can come back to your desk and start to configure the switch so I already have the configuration already been typed in. So this is one of the uh, good way to start. Uh, before you have the gear arrive, uh, you can prepare all this configuration and then you just start the copy and paste into the new switch and you will be done much faster. So that's what I'm going to do now here. So I'm going to go to my console connection. If you, you can differentiate here. That is one is a 192.168.1.100, that's a SSH. Other one is COM5 is a console. So let me go into the switch. 
and then I'm going to configure the host name here copy cut t host host name so I have the host name already going and I'm going to configure the IP domain I have to copy it's not like a console I have to copy this one paste it here I have IP domain name and then I'm going to configure the SVI uh, right now to show VLAN I have no VLAN I have no management VLAN on this switch right now only the default VLAN VLAN 1 uh, VLAN 1 and other default VLAN so let me configure the VLAN Conf uh, it's already in the Conf, conf mode VLAN 225 name management int VLAN 225 I'm in the interface mode and uh, let me put the IP address uh, you know the first switch is 100 this is going to be 101 IP address uh, no no shut so I have uh, bring up the interface right now and then I'm going to configure the username Cisco and secret means your password will be encrypted. Um, username and password already being configured and I'm going to uh, configure an enabled password that's also going to be encrypted that secret password. That's, that's done and then I'm going to enable a new model. So what this will do is it will force you to uh, enter a username and password and a new model the default switch doesn't come with the a new model enforced so you have to enforce this one um, and then I'm going to configure my crypto so let me do that crypto key generate RSA this is the important part you have to uh, generate uh, RSA key for the cert um, that's why you need to have a, a domain name and the host name without these you cannot generate an RSA uh, key and cert so that's been done make sure you put 1024 to enable SSH 1 or 2 that's need this one uh, 1024 key if you see here I have SSH 1.99 has been already been enabled um, that's done and then so let's see what's the key uh, we just installed show crypto key uh, my pub key RSA uh, I have to do a do show because I'm in the config mode do show and if you can see uh, you have uh, these new keys just got installed the time says all time because I have not uh, set the time on the switch that is fine and then I had to uh, do these two things IP SSH timeout 60 that means uh, the console uh, you know the connection will SSH connection will time out in 60 second if you are not active in the session um, and you can reduce that to 30 or 15 uh, here so that's been done that's a good uh, security practice and I'm going to do an uh, retries number of retries is 2 so IPSSH authentication retries so if you set this one after root um, after two retries uh, you have to start over the connection again so that has been set and then I have to go to the line VTY 0 to 15 
on switches you will have 0 to 15 on routers you will have 0 to 5 uh, 0 to 15 means you will have 16 SSH connection. So 16 people can work on a switch uh, simultaneously. So I'm going to go to line VTY 0 to 15 and then I'm going to enable transport input SSH. If you put SSH, that means you're enabling only SSH. Uh, if you say uh, Telnet, you will be enabling both SSH and Telnet. Uh, you can do here. And you see here, when I put a question mark, you will have one more option to put uh, Telnet. So I'm going to do only SSH here. That's the most secure uh, protocol. Telnet is just a plain text. So that's not good for your network security. Uh, so that has been done. And um, so everything is almost done. And write write mem so let me write this configuration and now i'm going to do the testing whether i have a remote access to this uh, uh, newly installed switch so i'm going to open up my computer here and then i already assigned a static ip in the same subnet so my ip is ip ip config that's um, this is my IP on the wired interface, 1200. Um, and then let me ping the radial management interface. Show uh, ping 192, 1.100. You might lose one packet. No, uh, I already have ping, so no packet loss. And then I'm going to ping, uh, that's 101. You might. Uh, not 102, 101, you might lose one packet during our process, timeout, yep, okay, yeah, your basic connectivity is up now, and then I'm going to close this out, and uh, I'm going to uh, see whether I can access this switch using the uh, SSH connection right now so I'm going to uh, create I'm going to go here uh, load what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the IP to 101 I'm going to save it here uh, I have to put here one save it yeah so load this is 100 and then here load 101 okay I have been presented with the cert and I have to accept this one and you see here it is asking me the pass uh, username Cisco password is Apple uh, I messed it up I had to wait a p p l e Apple B okay I am in the access now uh, enable the same Apple B, I am in this access switch right now. And uh, so let me close this out, my uh, console connection. Uh, yes, close. And now I have uh, two connection. One is 101, why it says, let me close this and then let me open the other one also. So I will have access to my radial also. Load 100. Uh, no, I have to change it here. I did something wrong there. Save. So this is 100. Load. And IP is correct. Open. And Cisco. Apple B. Enable. okay so you see here now I have access SSH access to uh, the access switch the newly installed access switch and the 
radial switch. So let's see a show SSH. You can see I am locked into this uh, in and out session and in here also show SSH. I am locked into this also using the same username. If you like this video, consider subscribing to the channel. Don't forget to like, share and ask any question under the comment section. I will get back to you as soon as possible. I will see you in another video. Thanks. Bye.